Project 2025. Look, if he is elected, Donald Trump intends to give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations. He intends to cut Social Security and Medicare. He intends to surrender our fight against the climate crisis. And he intends to end the Affordable Care Act. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that, otherwise I'm speaking. For the past eight months, President Biden and I have been working every day to bring this conflict. I'm speaking right now, and I value and respect your voice, but I'm speaking right now. In case you couldn't hear that clearly, the person screamed, it's genocide. And then you need to kick that fucking door down. I'm speaking right now, and I value and respect your voice, but I'm speaking right now. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. I'm speaking. Housekeeping! No, thank you. Sleeping. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that, otherwise I'm speaking. Flashback. All, all three of you speak so well about why you're doing what you did. What the Republican legislature did was shocking, it was undemocratic, and it was um, without any precedent. But you turn it around very quickly. And so we are here, understanding the broad shoulders upon which we all stand. Those fighters for freedom and liberty and justice. Those fighters who understood the truth must never be stifled or silenced when it is on behalf of the people. And so I want to start by recognizing the Tennessee Three. It wasn't about the three of these leaders, it was about who they were representing. Wrong. It's about whose voices they were channeling. Understand that, and is that not what a democracy allows? A democracy says you don't silence the people, you do not stifle the people, you don't turn off their microphones when they are speaking about the importance of life and liberty. These leaders had to get a bullhorn. They had to get a bullhorn to be heard. Well, you know what? That happens in a democracy, too. We will not be deterred. We will not throw up our hands when it is time to roll up our sleeves. We will fight. We will lead. We will speak the truth. We will speak about freedom and justice. And we will march on. These voices must be heard. They will not be discouraged or deterred even if using a bullhorn becomes necessary. And that was what Nashville was all about. An attempt to silence the voices of the people. Now can you imagine? The voice of the people was too much for these extremists to handle. It was just too much, they couldn't bear it. But you see, the Tennessee Three 
clearly were not deterred. But those extremists couldn't handle it, so much so that they turned off the microphones. But the Tennessee Three said, all right, let's pull out that bullhorn. Because <laughs> we will be heard. And they channeled the cries and the pleas and the demands of the people and required that those voices be heard. You know what? If you want Donald Trump to win, then say that, otherwise I'm speaking. Don't fall for the okie doke. Don't fall for the okie doke. We're not falling for the okie doke. 